Welcome to another Origins of Expressions. Today we'll be going over the phrases head over heels, falling for someone, having a crush. What do they all have in common? They're all phrases and idioms around falling in love. Let's not wait and let's get right into our video. Love is a word that many people use to express strong and positive emotions. Love comes in many different levels, like the love of a mother is different from the love of a spouse, which is completely different from the love of food. Today we're going over phrases about the start of love, when we just start to feel love for someone happening. It might be real or just euphoric feelings. Since most people have some form of strong affection to at least one person in their life at some point in time, it is a great subject to write idioms and phrases about. Let's go ahead and jump right into our first phrase. Head over heels. Head over heels is used to express feelings of excitement or passionate love. In a literal sense, to want to jump for joy or turn cartwheels to show how excited you are to get your heels over your head. The phrase head over heels has a few meanings before it was what we know it today. It was used in the 14th century as heels overhead to explain a cartwheel or somersaults. It then changed to head over heels and it was used to explain someone being pushed around. You know what would happen during a fight? In 1771, the book by Herbert Lawrence, The Complaintative Man, was an example that read, he gave him such a violent involuntary kick in the face, it drove him head over heels. The first written record of head over heels in the modern sense where love was involved was in an American newspaper, the Lebanon Patriot in 1833. And it read, about 10 years ago, Loda fell head over heels in love with the young Philadelphian of excellent family. We still use head over heels to express a strong love for someone or something. An example sentence is, seeing people head over heels in love honestly makes me so happy. Now that we've tumbled around with this phrase, let's jump right into our next one. Fall for someone. Fall for someone means to be attracted romantically to someone. To fall in love means that this was not an action that you wanted to happen. It is said that the feelings of falling in love is just like tripping or being helpless. You cannot control it. It just happens. It is often said as to fall in love or I am falling for them. The first written record of fall in love was in Edmund Spencer's epic poem, The Fair Queen, published in 1590. It reads, he sees her face doth fall in love and soon for her depart. Today, we still use the term fall in love, whether it's in love or for somebody, to express a love that was not expected, but just happens. An example sentence is, the more we worked together and got to know each other, the more I could feel myself falling for her. Let's allow these two to finish up their work as we move into our last phrase. Having a crush. Having a crush means that you feel infatuated with another person. You have a love for them romantically, but you are not in a relationship with them. Quite often, it is a secret you are keeping. You do not tell the other person that you have feelings for them. It can be a one-sided emotion. I think he has a crush on you. The word crush comes from the 1800s in England. It was used as a word that referred to a social gathering or a dance. The term crushing on someone evolved into a phrase meaning a romantic entanglement at a crowded social gathering. These gatherings were the most popular way to hook up at the time. I mean, if hook up meant talking to somebody in a hot room full of people, I guess you can hook up. It first appeared in 1884 in the Journal of Isabella Maud Rittenhouse. It reads, Winty is weeping because her crush is gone. 
The saying to have a crush is still used the same way today. It is used more by a younger group of people to express a liking or love for somebody. An example sentence is, Joe is the athletic champion of our school and many girls have a crush on him. Let's give them some time to celebrate as we move on. Oh, fun fact. Did you know that humans aren't the only species in the animal kingdom that practice monogamous relationships? Yep, that's right. Let's go over a few of them in this video. The first ones, of course, are lovebirds. They are extremely loving creatures. They don't like to spread the love, however. According to the Smithsonian, these colorful birds mate for life after reaching sexual maturity around 10 months old. Another bird that mates for life is the Atlantic Puffin. They mate with the same partner each year. They spend the mating season together and then separate for the winters to come back to each other the next mating season. Beavers are another animal that mate for life. According to PBS NatureWorks, these rodents mate for life, only seeking out a new partner if and when the first passes away. Boy, talk about till death do us part, huh? Gibbons. Gibbons are primates. They are a family of primates split up into 19 different species. Yet, all 19 of these species have something in common. They mate for life. According to the World Wildlife Foundation, these small apes pair up for life and form a family that stays together until the offspring grows up and leaves home. It is almost like fully grown humans leaving home once they become self-sufficient adults. Well, that's the information I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed learning about where our idioms and phrases come from. If you did, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel. It is the season of love and caring. So show me that you are head over heels for my content by subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Oh yeah, quick question before you go. Do you know any idioms or phrases around falling in love? Maybe you know other idioms or phrases on an entirely different subject. I would love to see them. Leave them in the comments below. And you know if I use one of your phrases, I'll give you a shout out. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate your support. Until next time. Bye.